Hey, good morning. This is Dr. Will Flower, and I read this thing I have to share with you. Again, there's a study that came out that's looking at supplements, and the the question that these researchers are asking is, do they do anything? In in this case, and they've been asking this question recently a lot. Supplements, do they help? Yeah, it's a thirteen billion dollar industry. Yeah, the advertisers tell you that it cures everything from boils to cancer to heart disease to liver failure well, all of it it's a magic pill you need to take it that's what they tell you once science <laughs> it takes it out of the marketers hands and they look and they they find that it's either uh, harmful or irrelevant in many cases and so all you get is expensive really expensive pee because it just comes out and you, you feel good because you're taking a one a day, right? Or whatever you're taking, Centrum, I don't know, it doesn't matter. In this particular one, they're looking at uh, vitamin D. Vitamin D is so hot now. Take your vitamin D, blah, blah, blah. Vitamin D and calcium. Uh, now, I have to say that vitamin D and calcium are good for your bones. Drink milk. Have oily fish, blah, blah, blah. Salmon is great, especially the stuff in the can. But there were a lot of people who were saying, oh, you've got to take it for a lot of things like your heart or the prevention of stroke because when you have foods with vitamin D uh, you tend to get less stroke but in supplement form it doesn't happen so what these the, what these scientists are saying when they looked at all of the data what they found was that uh, vitamin D and C supplementation I'm sorry vitamin D and calcium supplementation don't do anything they don't do anything as a matter of fact I just have to read you this uh, We've learned historical lessons about taking supplements, say these authors, these scientists. For several years, vitamin A and E were believed to prevent multiple ills like heart disease and cancer. Like I said, everything. Plug it in. Make it work. Sell it at the pharmacy. However, major reports that came out in 2005 and 2007 showed that both vitamins actually increase your risk of dying. Your best case scenario is expensive pee. Worst case scenario is you are more likely to die by taking those. This is not me. This is coming from these guys, the guys who look at all the data. The people who are marketers, the people who are working to make a living by selling you pills and pills and pills that come out of a Pez dispenser, you know, the, the raining pills. Those people are... Um, uh, they're going to dispute this. They're going to say, uh, nah, -uh, I've got to make a living. That's what they're going to say. What these people are saying is that, is that your best source of your food, <laughs> your best source of nutrients comes from your food. And pills are for sick people. It's the exception to the rule, not the exception, no matter what the commercial tells you. Good? So these are just the data. Don't die from taking uh, one a day. You want to take a one a day? You want it one a day? I'll give you one a day. It's called, it's this fancy thing. It's brand new. Right now on the market, you can get it anywhere. It's called fruit. Crazy. Have a one a day called an apple, a kiwi, a banana, an orange. One a day. Do it. All right, listen. I'm Dr. Will Flower. If you have questions, come to my site, willflower.com. If you need more information, info at willflower.com. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.